Hey, um, given the fact that you guys have not been together as a team in almost a year now, and the fact that you're going to play a much shorter season, obviously, how much more important is training camp now? Yeah, it's very important always. Um, but I think we got a lot of familiar faces uh, up front, a lot of new uh, defensemen, obviously. But um, there is still that core group of guys that we can kind of continue to build our foundation off of. And, uh, you know, we got about two weeks here where we can prepare. And a lot of the guys are skating in Washington, too. So we're kind of getting our touches back and our chemistry back. But uh, it's always good to have a good uh, training camp and, and be ready to go day one. Go ahead, Ali Baruby from ABC 27. Uh, Coach mentioned just about, you know, maybe there's not a Calder Cup this season. They don't know what playoffs look like right now. Um, and we were kind of talking about motivation and, and how you get through the next 100 days, um, getting the chance to play hockey, but not maybe playing for a typical season championship or something like that. How do you look at this season and, and what are you hoping to get out of a shortened AHL season, but getting back out on the ice? Yeah, I think most guys are excited to get back. I personally haven't played a lot of games in the last couple of years, so I'm uh, even more excited if that's possible. But um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, it's hard because obviously, like you said, there's no uh, ultimate championship goal, but I think guys definitely have their incentives. I mean, we're playing for jobs, we're playing for our future. And, and uh, at the same time, we're going to have uh, collective goals in the room that are going to drive our, our motivations. Go ahead, Kyle Mace with Chocolate Hockey. Lucas, um, you, you're saying here that, you, like you said, you, you haven't gotten a chance to play a lot of games with injuries and having to deal with all those things. Not now playing almost for an entire year, and you now have 100 days together is what Carbs was saying. What's it going to be like getting up to that game speed this quickly and then having to be playing all these games in this 100-day period? Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think um... – you know, the advantage for me, if it is an advantage at all, is that nobody's been playing really. So, uh, you know, for me coming back uh, just before COVID hit, I, I was kind of going back into the fire where everybody was obviously in, in peak condition and I, I had some some catching up to do, but now we're all kind of in the same boat. Um, you know, I've, I've played a couple scrimmages. Um, we got one tomorrow, um, but uh, I'm just excited personally to get back in some game action and, um, you know, kind of get in that routine again. Go ahead uh, and unmute yourself, Andrew Callista, Fox 43. Hey, Lucas, thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Um, DHL has kind of changed over, you know, the last few years, you know, becoming a faster, more skilled league. You know, when you're playing the three, three teams over and over again for 36 times, I mean, emotions are going to get high. Do you anticipate games being a little more chippier than they have been in the past, especially when you're going up against, you know, two of your, you know, main rivals, when you're seeing them more often without breaks in between? Are, are the games going to be more physical? Yeah, most likely. I mean, we we always play uh, Wilkes-Barre and Lehigh uh, 12 times each anyway. And uh, <laughs> I think if you look historically, that it gets pretty chippy in those games. But, uh, yeah, I expect nothing different. I mean, like I said, guys have, uh, you know, personal incentives and they want to prove themselves, even if it's a, a shortened season. So most definitely there'll be, uh, you know, high competition and, and a high level of, uh, you know, physicality. We'll go back to Ali Barubi with ABC. Talking to Helms, uh, you know, a little while ago, he said um, there was a good possibility like AHL wasn't going to play. There were so many hurdles to get get over. How important do you think it is for for you guys who are looking to make it to the NHL, take that next step? How important was it to play this season? And uh, I guess in that same breath, how grateful are you that they found a way to make this work? Yeah, very grateful. I mean, um, you know, one of the reasons we come here is is to develop. Um, and, you know, if, if they were to take that away, that would really put uh, us at a disadvantage. Um, it's tough. I mean, it's tough for everybody. I really feel for the junior guys who are, are anticipating getting drafted this year and, and all the stuff they have to deal with. So it could be worse for us. I mean, we're just making the best of the, of the situation. Go ahead back to Kyle Mace. Uh, you, you touched on it about, you know, this this great old uh, rivalry between these clubs here and you already play, you know, Wilkes and Lehigh so much. Do you think it's going to be easier or tougher to be seeing only three teams? I know Carbs mentioned about, you know, systems and being able to break down things that other teams do. But from a player's perspective, 
having to play these teams over and over and over again, and them being the only ones that you see, how do you think this is going to play out this year? Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think it comes down to a matter of execution. I mean, we're going to usually before we play a team, we have a general idea of, uh, you know, how they play in their systems, uh, obviously. And if we're playing them, you know, by the sixth time, we're going to know them, you know, front and back. So it's just a matter of who can execute and who comes ready to play uh, for the 60 minutes that night. And, and yeah, consistency, I think, would probably uh, be a big factor in our in our wins.